What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back on AFK Arena, and today I'm going to be using Ascended Shamira to see how far we can get in the campaign. So, in this episode, we're just going to be throwing the not best team around Shamira and seeing how far we can carry her, or she can carry us, and then in the next episode, I'm going to throw on my real team and see what we can do there. So, the main team that's been carrying me through the campaign is not this team. It's been Shamira, Barutus, Tazi, Belinda. Actually, I want Belinda there. Belinda, Tazi, and and one of a large amount. We're going to have some fun and use the Succubus because I really like her. In the next episode, we'll use my real team, uh, which subs out Barutus and uh, Mahira. Um, the Succubus has been with, uh, with, with me a lot of the way, and so I'm going to use her just for fun in today's video. So we're going to see how far Ascended Shamira can carry us uh, and, and see how that goes for us. Ascended Shamira is just the absolute beast. And she just absolutely destroys everything. It's really just a matter of how long can the rest of my heroes stay alive. And if they can stay alive long enough, Shamira will clean up everybody. She'll get the five kill streak and she will end everybody. Um... She absolutely is just a freaking destroyer of worlds. It's insane. She's probably... I mean, like, look at this. I mean, the rest of my team pretty much kicked the... Tazi, Tazi is a really big help to Shamira because she stays alive. And she's usually able to pop her ultimate once per fight, which is really key. Uh, Brutus helps a lot. Um... Just for, I guess it's for overall survivability, he really helps because he stays alive for a little bit because he has that immunity when he dies. Uh, the Succubus is really helpful for this because she um, adds to the defense. She increases my defense, which is really helpful. Um, that's why I chose to use her in this video. I don't know how far the OP, OP considered team that I have now, my main team, that I consider like OP. It's missing the Baden being Mythic Plus, but it's still really good. I still really, really like that team. But we even kept Belinda alive this time. I mean, that's never good for the opposition when Belinda stays alive. Because if Belinda's alive, that's just, you know, that's just tragedy for everybody involved. If Belinda, if Belinda makes it and she's be able to DPS, uh, that's just really bad. I really like Belinda. She's one of my favorite characters in the game. My only issue with her is that she's light bearer. I mean, it makes sense for her. I'm not like complaining about what they decided to make her. I'm just saying it's annoying for me overall because she doesn't synergize. I don't want to use any other light bearers. I like Lucius, but I don't want to use him. I don't. I just don't want to use him for for anything. I used him for a while. He's really good. He's the best tank. I'm not gonna fight that. Like I understand he's the best tank in the game. But my point is, is that I just, I don't want to use light bearers. They're kind of bad. Fox is good. I like Fox, but I don't want to run. I mean, there's a world where I could run three over three, over four. See, I want to run four Graveborn over three light bearers, Shamira and Tazi. Like I'd have to get rid of Tazi for another Graveborn. It's possible that would work. That is a viable option. There are viable options here. Um, it's just a little bit. I'll show you. We'll do one of the teams this next time. If we lose, we lose. I'll, I'll switch it up. But um, we're up to 14-8, which is a boss level. So perfect time to test out a new team that I've never done before. So it would be, it would be like, okay, so it would be Lucius and obviously Belinda, where's Fox? It'd be Fox, and I mean, I don't want to use Nara, because she's part of the later video. We'll just say it's Baden for now. Eh, let's say it's Calther. Let's do Calther. I like Calther, but that's kind of where we are right now, is that essentially, yeah, I don't think, we're not going to complete this with this ragtag weird team that I put together right here. Um, but that's kind of what it would have to be the look instead of four Graveborns, which I really like, and Tazi or Belinda. It can't be Belinda. I can use Belinda over Tazi. But we're kind of at that stage where it's kind of like, eh, eh, I don't know exactly what, what I want to do. Where is my Succubus? There we go. 
All right, let's see if this team is good enough to get this done. The main thing is I need someone to stay alive with Tazi because it really, or to stay alive with Shamira because it really helps just take some sort of aggro away. Like right now. Okay, instead of Shamira having to fight the entire world, she is able to only fight two people. So she's going to clean them up and then she's going to clean up. Okay, Shamira, hurry up. Clean them up. Clean them up. There we go. She's going to clean them up. And she only has to fight them in waves of two. My other heroes really aren't there to fight. They're really just there to be fodder and make sure Belinda stays alive. They're just there to distract almost. I should just be using distraction tank heroes, which I'm going to try here on the next boss. We're going to try a fun thing on the next boss and see how, just see how it goes. Because, you know, it's a game. Let's have a little fun for this video. Uh, Shamira. Oh my gosh, Belinda, please. Belinda, please. Belinda, please. Thank you, Belinda. Oh my gosh. The, the Belinda cl Clutch. They killed my Shamir and Belinda clutched that out. Obviously, if I would have reran that RNG, I think Shamir would have destroyed him. There's also the whole, you know, type advantage to deal with that I don't actually pay that much attention to, which I should. Shamir is down. Okay, so we failed that. Um, I think I'm going to switch this. I'm going to go like that. And I'm going to move Belinda down here as well. Light Bearer's weakness is... So here's the thing. If I can't beat this, we will beat this in the next episode because Light Bearer's weakness is uh, Graveborns, and I'm going to show off my Graveborn team in the next episode. But uh, I wanted to separate them in and highlight just my girl Shamira in this episode. Looks like Shamira's going to get it done this time, though. Get that 5 Rampage. Sometimes I just need to move the team around a little bit and... Uh, it gets the gets gets the job done so we have light bearers down here at the bottom we have belinda up at the top wilder um yeah i think this works let's try this i think this works just stay alive brutus a little bit longer brutus okay brutus all right good job that was a good that was good by tazi i'm happy that that's okay shamira went okay what just destroyed my soul right there? Um, I'm going to swap. It's tough. I don't. That Belinda's better than my Belinda. I'm going to take... Eh, it's so hard. I'm going to put on a Thalia for this. We're going to try a Thalia. I really do like a Thalia, but a Thalia doesn't give me any boost, so I'm not quite sure that's going to... Yeah, that's not going to do anything. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Let's take him off. Let's put that out there. So now we get a boost because we have three light light bearers. So let's try this now. But Lucius, you know, died in six seconds, so that that doesn't really help. Uh, Shamira's not going to get her ultimate off. This might be the end of the road for this. I'm going to call that that's the end of the road for that. We'll come back and hit that up um, in another video. Um... Let's go ahead and progress King's Tower. See if we can progress this any. I don't know if we actually can with without going to my OP team, which obviously I said we'll get to that into the next episode. We'll take a little bit of a deeper look into some of the heroes that I'm using on this team. Uh, and we'll go from and we'll we'll wrap the episode up if I can't beat this. The succubus is like the best thing for this because it increases the defense. Um but these King's Towers missions are a lot harder than than I than they look compared to the campaign. Like I'm hard stuck on 166. So let's take a look at this. So I did get a better piece of gear for Lucius. Actually, two better pieces of gear for Lucius. So we'll throw those on. Uh, and so here is the gear for the characters that I used in this video. So Shamira has full legendary. Um, I believe yeah, this is legendary plus. I wish it was for. I wish it was for uh, Greyborns, but it's not. None of this is for Greyborns. This is for um, Celestials, and so is this. On Shamira, I have the restores 10 energy points per second because I need the energy points. I can, I think, I don't think I can do it yet. Can I hit the right thing? Enhance. So we need 20 of these enhancement stones to Dura's Calls. Um can be found after chapter 14 is used to enhance Dura's call. Uh, I believe I have one thing for one of the other artifacts. Is it this one? No. Um, here's Belinda. So Belinda's outfit, she has a bunch of stuff for Graveborn, but 
The thing is, is that it doesn't make sense to put this stuff on Shamira because it's all worse than what Shamira has on. Yes, Shamira would get the bonus, but then Shamira would still be weaker even with the 30% bonus. Here's Tazi. Tazi has this hat. Um, and if I'm thinking about giving it to Belinda um, because it would boost, obviously, Belinda. But Tazi does have these shoes that she's getting the extra. I'm going to make the objective decision right now in this video to make the swap. Because right now I'm using both anyway. So I might as well get the bonus percentage off on this by putting it on Belinda. And then we can equip Tazi with this hat. Docks are down a little bit, but uh, it really will bump up Belinda more than it knocks Tazi. Brutus, he has a bunch of stuff that I can't, that that just isn't for him. I mean, he has a he has a hypogene, he's got a wilder, and he's got some uh, light bear gear. But it's my best gear that I got, so I'm not taking it off of him until I get better gear for him. There's Laika. Laika was a big part of my playthrough for a while, but she kind of fell off. I do really still like Laika a lot. Okay, did not mean to remove the gear, but she kind of fell down. Uh, Lucius, he you used him for a long time. I do have a legendary item on him. Uh, consider every day that I... I consider sacrificing it every day, but I don't. There is the Mahira gear. Um, she's just got some basic stuff on, nothing too special. Uh, we did get better boots and stuff for, for good old uh, Alder Morrow. Uh, I don't actually like this guy, but he's a tank for the Wilder, so he made the cut to join the top 15 that I have. Uh, in this resonating crystal, once I unlock another one, then I'll have to start making decisions. Because right now I only have 15. I mean, there's not much else I can do but throw them into the uh, Challengers tournament. Uh, but that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. Drop it a big old like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. Let me know what you guys think of Ascended Shamira. She is just the absolute... She's just an absolute unit. She just destroys... <laughs> but uh yeah i'll catch you guys in the next one where we'll be assembling my main team so i'll catch you guys then peace